Hey everyone, welcome back to Legend of Grimrock 2. We left off last time after defeating a couple of baddies, and now it's time to venture forth into this little kind of cavern and see what awaits us. Hopefully it's something lovely and nice, and not at all scary. <laughs> no, no, there's probably going to be something horrible. Anyway, what does this say? The Legend of Kilhagen. Okay, we'll do the Legend of Kilhagen, then we'll have a little chat, okay? The second most precious thing in life for a seafaring captain is his sword, because without it he cannot command his crew. Thus, upon losing his weapon somewhere on Shipwreck Beach, he lost what is most important to him, the respect of his crew. Now, could this be Kilhagen? And maybe we need to go back to the beach to find his sword? That could be the case. Anyway, hope everyone out there is doing good. I am doing fantastic. Oh, I noticed something. Actually, hold on. I noticed something in the last video while I was editing it, actually. Um, I'm going to go take a look right now. I noticed a, a letter carved into one of the trees back here when I was editing the video. Here, there's a K in the tree there. Look at that. I don't know what that means, but... Oh, wait. That might be Kilhagen. Maybe that's the mark of Kilhagen. Do you think I can break this tree down? Hold on. Let me keep bashing away at it. Let's see. It might break. Because K might be like Kilhagen. I don't know. I don't, I'm just thinking like outside the box here, folks, okay? No, there's nothing there. It's not breaking anyway. Uh, rats. Thought I was into something there. Oh, well. Uh, this looks like it can open. This looks like a door here. Right? That definitely looks like a door. Look at that. It's kind of like in the rock there. Anyway, let's go back to where we were going. So, how are we all doing? Hope everyone is doing good. I am doing uh, just great. I, uh, I'll be honest with you, I haven't been up for long. Um, I'll be completely upfront, you know, with that information. I uh, went to bed. Pretty late, you know, about half uh, <clears throat> half six maybe, and I set my alarm for half twelve because I was like, oh, you know, I'll just have a short sleep. And actually, what happened was I woke up. Do you hear something? I hear the bads. I don't want them to rush me because if they rush me, they probably kill me. They're they're here somewhere. I can hear them. Right, put my peasant cap on this uh, Steve Minotaur here. So yeah, I woke up at um, half 12 for my alarm, but I, uh, yeah, I felt great actually. I was like, wow, I feel great, I'm gonna get up. Uh, yeah, then I, uh, then I lay back in bed for a bit, and uh, yeah, I was in bed for uh, quite a few more hours, we'll see, quite a few more. Some might say that I woke up at 4 p.m. Some might say. I, I don't know why they would say that. Probably because it's uh, true. Um, but I'm not happy about it. I'm not proud of it. Oh, hello. This is who I heard. There's two of them in there. What does this say? Windgate Terminus East. Okay, and this is a, a button. Oh, oh, it was a teleporting pad. So these are like little teleport pads that if you go into it will just teleport you somewhere. So let's have a look. So it's teleported me to... Another Terminus? Terminus West. The hell was that noise? Oh, it's a turtle. Hello? Hello? How's it going? Pal? Throwing rocks at you. How's that feel? Probably pretty bad. I uh, can't remember having rocks thrown at me. I've probably had rocks thrown at me before. You know, when you're a kid and you throw rocks, so you try to run away now, eh? Because you're about to get absolutely destroyed by Steve Minotaur and Dan Muscles. Someone said I should have called Dan, Dan Bull. And I was thinking, geez, that would have been fantastic. Why did I not think of that? But well done to all of those who suggested that. That would have been a way cooler name. Dan Muscles is a cool name, but Dan Bull would have been an even better name. Because we all love Dan Bull, don't we? Right, what we got here? We've got a sling. I'll give that to um, our uh, lizard. And we've got some rocks. Ah, they stack. I didn't know that. Well, actually, I did know that. What am I talking about? So, Gorzard, and we've got Meryl, Cool Spells, Dan and Steve. Right, is there anything else to explore here? Let's have a look at the map. So, we're in this little area. It doesn't look like there's much else to explore in the way of um, this section. Let's see if we can get through this door. Uh, can we put something 
through there. Can you put that in there? Ah, we can! Ha! Amazing! Wait, can I not get past? Oh wait, this in the way. Okay, so we found a key! An ornate key. We found a dagger, which is pretty nice. Actually, I'll give the dagger to um to Gorzard. And a healing potion. Lovely, lovely. Thank you very much. Well, that's our first, is that our first treasure chest? I think that is. So an ornate key. Maybe we'll be able to use that at the front of the um, puzzle, kind of like where that big circle was. Maybe we'll be able to use it there, or maybe we'll be able to use it here, actually. Seems like more logical. Yeah, we can use it there. Hello! I'm going to give these back to, um, to them. Go away. Stop. So the recharge time on the slingshot, pretty long. Pretty long. Right, we're absolutely wrecking this dude here. We're just weaving, weaving around. 17 hit there with the rock, which is pretty nice, honestly. Uh-oh, we're in a spot of bother here. Gotta go. Oh, man. I might die, actually. That's bad. They've kind of trapped me. Hopefully they will walk away. Aha! I got one of them. Nice. Well, that's fortunate. If I hadn't got one of them, they would have probably trapped me in there, which is not good. So Meryl can't reach. We need to level Meryl up so that she can learn that uh, Fire Blast spell that we got, which is awesome. So yeah, so that's what I've been up to today, which is basically uh, a whole lot of nothing because I haven't been up for very long. Um, it embarrasses me. It really does. I, I'll tell you why. Some of you might be like, wow, Nalzi, you're just lazy, you know, why did you not just get up? The thing is, what happened was, I woke up and um, I felt great. I actually felt great, which is one of the problems I have. When I wake up, I generally feel crap and I'm like, ugh, you know, I don't want to, you know, get up. I want to sleep a little bit longer, so I, I go back to sleep. Now, um, that wasn't the case, actually, which is quite rare. I actually woke up and I felt fantastic and I was like, oh man, I feel great. I should get up now. But I was having this dream, right? Hold on, let me open this chest. Oh, it's a wooden box. And there's a bone there? I can't get the bone. What's in the wooden box? We've got a shovel. Interesting. A sea bass. we got a spell. Give that to Meryl. We've got a note. Okay. And we've got a rapier. Now, this could be the sword that um, we were talking about earlier. This could be Kilhagen's sword. Hmm. Can we use the shovel, actually? Can't dig here. So you can dig... I can't dig here. Okay. Look in this corner, make sure there's nothing else. It's very dark. If I seem to remember correctly, in Legend of Grimrock 1, there was a spell to light the area. So hopefully we'll get that one soon and we can level that up because it's very, very handy for dark situations like this. Let me just turn that teleport pad off. Make sure there's nothing in there. No. Okay. Well, let's go and see if we can use this sword on... Um, Oh, maybe we can use it on the statue. Hello? Hello, statue. You want this? Aha! So it does work, and I can take it back. Amazing. Right, well. Okay, well, that's unlocked tons of stuff then. Oh, my goodness. Where are we going? No, I don't want to go out yet. There's tons of stuff up here that I have yet to explore. I, I think we should explore the rest of it before we go down, because that looks like it was um a dungeon, and I don't feel that we're completely finished up here yet. So let's go over here. I'm going to give the sword to Kilhagen over here. Because this one was hidden. So maybe this is like some loot. Ah! Ah oh yeah, there was some loot. And there's the ornate key. Or oh, well, the gold key even. For the room behind us. Awesome, awesome. Okay, give me that rapier back please. Thank you. Right, now can we use the Kilhagen sword on that K that we saw here in this tree? No. Or maybe we'll try and hit it with it. No, we can't actually use the sword on the key. I'm still confused about this key. I'm very intrigued by that key there. Um, it must mean something. Now, is there any other Kilhagans knocking around? There's one up there, but is there any back here? I feel like maybe there's something. Maybe I should be digging more. Oh, wait. No, this is Kilhagan's rapier. What does this note say? I didn't actually read it. At the lone oak, in the shadow of the blue light, I buried it. Ah, 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 that's what that's for. That's what that key is for. So K is his signatory to say that this is where he buried it. Dig here. No, no, I can dig here. 
I can dig here, I know it. Aha! Digging! What did I find? What did I find? Hello? Hello? What did I get? What's that? Anything? Found nothing. Ah! But this is the right area. So I can just keep digging around here. I'll eventually find something. Found nothing. Okay. Here? Alright, so you dig one foot ahead of you. That's why I couldn't find it. Meryl, cool spells is leveled up! Amazing! Good job, Meryl! Okay, what's in the chest? So we've got an embalmer's robe and a healing potion. So this embalmer's robe, is that good for um, spellcasters? Protection and vitality. Alright, who hasn't got a robe? Um, what's this? Protection plus one. We'll give that to Meryl and we'll give the embalmer's robe to, um, to Dan. And uh, not to Dan, to uh, Steve. To Steve. So, we can level up Meryl. Now, should we level up fire or should we level up poison? I think we're going to level up fire. So, let's level up one in fire magic, okay? So, fire magic one. Accept. There we go. Meryl, you can now learn that spell. Meryl can now use the spell, I should say. Uh, so, if I do this, click that and then cast. There you go. Meryl has learned Fire Blast. Good job, Meryl. Now, it surprises me that Meryl was um, the first one to level up since they're not really been in combat, but I guess Meryl just requires more XP. Uh, sorry, less XP to level, I guess. Um, right, so we've got a lot of stuff that we can be doing now. That was awesome. That was really cool. So, we found the secret key in there, so now we can go and use this secret key over here. Now, should I be using it over here, or should I be going down into that secret area downstairs? I'm not sure which one is better, you know, which one has more stuff, because I don't want to skip anything. This is our secret chest that we got. So we got some pellets, don't know what that is. We got a backbiter, okay, and a potion of strength, awesome. What is the backbiter? Requires light weapons, and it has leech. Okay, interesting. Free loot first, then. Right, so, how would we call the elements? That's what we want to do, right? We want to call the guardians. So I don't think we can actually do that. So, that means we need to go back, and we need to go into that little cavern. There must be something in there. Let's, um, let's do something. Can we stack this food? No, we can't stack any of that. We'll give, um the rogue, the the herbs, and we will give pellets? What does what does pellets do? Pellets can be shot with a slingshot? No. Looks like a gun ammo, I guess. I don't remember there being a gun in Legend of Grimrock, but maybe there is. Maybe that's a new thing, or maybe I'm just wrong and there was always a gun and I just didn't know about it. Right, so let's have a look at our map. Right. Might be something at the beach to dig up. But uh, I think at this stage we're just going to be going down here, into this cavern here. Um, the legend of Kilhagen. Maybe it's Kilhagen's burial chamber or something? I don't know. It could be. Now, can we use any of these weapons? Probably not. That's light weapon. I think that will be used on uh, you, actually. In fact, who has light weapons? Armor, heavy weapons. Right, so that won't be for you then. Okay, let's just get exploring this. Uh, oops, sorry. <laughs> let's get exploring this dungeon. Leaves the dungeon. No. Okay, let's have a look. Right, so. Let's have a look at the map. Multiple exits. Let's go this way first. What's this? Halls of the Dead. Hmm. Okay, let's go the other way, I think. Uh, I think that would be smart. We got a shiny thing in there. And nothing back here. Again, you got to keep your eyes open for buttons on the wall. Right. Aha! We've got a scroll of shock, give that to Meryl. And we've got a healing potion, give that to Dan. Oh, they're starving, okay. Dan, have this fish. I forgot you have to feed them, so there's the food meter as well. I completely forgot about that, actually. Uh, looks like you're quite hungry as well, so you can have some food. Let's just free up some inventory space. You can have some food, and you can have some turtle meat as well. There's some turtle meat I left back at the, um, you know, the puzzle. So I'll go and get that later. Uh, at the big X puzzle that I did in the last video. Right, so we got some lockpicks there. Nothing to really lockpick at the moment. I wonder if lockpicking is actually um, something you can just do by default or if it's a skill that you need to learn. Hopefully. What's that? Nothing? That looks like nothing. Okay, fine. 
Oh, there's something in there. I hear rumblings of a monster. Uh oh. What the flip is that? Bang! Take that! You weird mummy! What the heck? We're fighting a mummy! Maybe this is Kilhagen! Are we fighting Kilhagen? The zombie, zombie Kilhagen? Oh my goodness, he's not taking a lot of damage. Let's try Meryl's spell. Bang! Holy smokes! That ever 84? You kidding me? Oh my god! Meryl! Good job, Meryl! Oh my god! Right. We don't need to pick up the rocks every time we use them. We can just, um... We can just, um, go over them and they pick up automatically. Wooden box, what we got here? We got tons of pellets. A gun! A flintlock. Maybe I could use that on my rogue. It's an interesting one. I don't remember there being a gun in the first Grimrock. That may be a new thing. If it's not, then I'm going to look silly. But I think it's new. Right, so, um, I'm going to go this way. Halls of the Dead, right? That would make sense. There's a lot of dead people just walking around, eh? Right, so that looks like a pressure pad. We've got two levels we can level up here. I don't know what to put them in yet. I really don't, because we haven't got any weapons neither of these uh, guys can use, so I don't really know what to do with the levels yet. I suppose uh, everyone out there can leave me suggestions of what they think I should... Oh! Aha! What is this? A part of the beach? A secret. So we have found another secret here, which is excellent. Finding the secrets was one of my favourite parts of Grimrock. Um, so essentially what it is, is um, sometimes there'll be like secret buttons or secret like things in the wall and stuff. Oh my god, Meryl, you're the best. And um, by using those buttons and things, it tells you, first of all, when you have found a secret, which is the most satisfying thing, I think. You know, that it actually says secret found. And then you uh, tend to get a bit of loot or you get something special in that area. I think I saw a chest over here. Ah! Surprise attack. Keep using Meryl's fire because it is amazing. How did we ever live without it? It's got a long recharge rate and it takes up a lot of mana, but it seems to be worth it. Right. We've got our level on Gorzard as well, and here's a chest over here. Hello, what we got? It's locked! Oh wait, we've got a lockpick. Uh here, can we use this? Yes! What do we get? Thrail Tribal Mask and a healing potion. What does this tribal mask do? Protection plus three, energy plus five, and evasion minus five without light armor proficiency. Okay, okay, we'll give that to, um, give that to, uh, Steve. Steve's wearing an awesome mask now. So there we go. Right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Nalzi, you've been fantastic. This has been Legend of Grimrock 2. Join me next time where we will continue into the little dungeon area underneath Kilhagen's statue and see what we can find. See you there, everyone. Bye. This is my outro song so that the vid doesn't end too who suddenly. Be sure to click like and fave and drop a comment if you think that you want to. Oh, oh, and there's tons of other stuff for you to click in the in the background for you. So go out, go ahead and do that. Thanks for watching the vid, you hooty for people. That is all for now, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you all later. Oh god. Bye. Seriously, why are you still watching this? Go and subscribe and drop a comment below. God damn you, stop watching video. Click fave, drop a comment, I think you want to, but if you don't, well that's your opinion, I guess.